Today we're going to do a trick where we use a 9 volt battery to charge a capacitor to more than a thousand volts. So how are we going to pull this off? Well, let's have a look at the equations. So our trick is to use a 9 volt battery to make a 1000 volt capacitor. And the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor depends on the area and the distance. So the formula is C equals epsilon A over D, where this is the area over the distance times a constant, which uh, is the permittivity of the medium in between these plates, which in this case would be air. Capacitance is also equal to charge over the voltage difference between the plates. So if we equate these two equations with each other, we see that we can solve for the voltage as QD over epsilon A. Now, if we look at this formula carefully, we see that if you increase the distance between the plates, but you keep the same charge in the same area, then the voltage has to increase. So let's see if we can make this uh, equation work in real life. So coming back over to our experimental setup here, we have our capacitor, and what I'm going to do is kind of make sure these things are close to each other. These two plates are close to each other, so I put a piece of paper in here, make sure they're not touching. And now what we're going to do is take our 9-volt battery and charge up our capacitor, and we see that we're at 9 volts here on our voltage display in that little box there. It doesn't show very well on the scale, but it's, uh, we see it's at 9 volts. So now I'm going to disconnect our uh, power here. So the charge is now stored on this capacitor, and we're very quickly going to increase the distance between these plates, uh, just like in the formula. So let's have a go at this. Okay, ready, get set, go. And now we have more than a thousand volts difference um, between these, uh, these two capacitors. So um, it sounds dangerous, but there's not really a lot of electric charge here. So probably if I touch these two, it oh, goes back down to, to zero, basically. So anyway, what we've done is uh, use a small amount of voltage to create a large amount of voltage using the principle of capacitance. So I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.